Hey, what's up guys? Today in this video, I want to talk about, you know, general self-improvement advice, which I think is kind of bullshit because it isn't expanded upon to the point where it's understandable, right? You know, everyone says self-improvement advice like, get good enough sleep. And that's not enough bullshit, but you, I think it needs a bit of nuance with that, uh, with that advice because you need to say like, hey, you got to sleep early. Like, don't fear sleep. Don't procrastinate on sleep. Don't see sleep as a negotiable. It's always going to be a non-negotiable because the quicker you get get it out of the way, the quicker you get to move on to the, your, uh, your your new day and get new uh, thing, new work done. Have more time for work done. All right, guys. Sleep is like a massively underrated. It, I'm gonna say this, and people are fucking me like, no, it's not. Sleep is a massively underrated thing in the self improvement. Mastering your sleep is like step one of everything because as soon as you master your sleep You master your ability to you know go to bed at the right time and wake up at the right time So then you wake up and then you can just be productive and work or and do, or do literally like whatever you're fucking doing Everything comes like like a puzzle like comes in line you feel so it, I, I, <laughs> It's so funny to say but mastering your sleep is like is the most underrated thing like of all time or unrated self from uh, advice of all time. I think it's like number one. It has to be number one, because it's like your basic. It's like it's like on Maslow's uh, hierarchy of needs: sleep, food, water, sex, th that type of stuff, right? I think it's, I, in my personal opinion, it's step one because we live in a generation of young men and women being absolute idiots, staying up at like three a.m. in the morning, five a.m. in the morning, going to bed, wake up at one, two p, three or four, five p.m. This is very, very common, like within the majority of unemployed. You know, gap years like students. You know what I'm saying? If you are if you're a student and you just like master your sleep right, you're gonna get so much more done anyway. And like, what is there to fear another day? Like the other day was gonna come anyway. So yeah, right, right. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Yeah, sleep is definitely number one. Second advice, I probably would I would probably hear a lot is like go to the gym. You know, I I recently just saw a very popular. Uh, YouTuber, dead black pill YouTuber by the name of DBDR and I really like his videos despite him being an absolute fucking geek and I really like the fact that <laughs> he talks about you know going to the gym I heard that already I heard it already I, and I'm really good at you know in his latest video he says I'm really good at hearing like th listening through bullshit advice I don't know if I can fucking bring it up right now what, what do you call rash track me? that's where you got me you know that's what I explained to him I'm like dude you know we're both like that that's where you got me you know that's where we're both different like i'm so like i, I don't I, I see through bullshit bullshit you don't see through bullshit that's a lie that's a fucking lie if you see through bullshit you wouldn't be built like a fucking geek you wouldn't, you wouldn't realize that the black pill and this type of shit is bullshit because it's just a negative outlook on a shitty situation you know what I'm saying, guys? That's all the black pill is. It's a negative outlook on a situation. That's the best way I can sum, 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 not summarize, summarize the entirety of black pill. Because the black pill is basically a bunch of group of ugly fucktards who come together and say, hmm, things are bad. Hmm, I guess things can get worse because, like, hmm, yeah, it's going to get worse. Like, it's just that. It's not like things are bad. I need to fucking, like, lock in. I need to keep, keep working. I need to keep going. And he talks about his father being like a, a guy who just talks, no walk. Fair enough. Like, you know, probably is the truth. Um, a lot of people like that. So, uh, I just saw it, like leaked images of him. He looks like a geek. And I don't doubt if he actually like, shows his face. He isn't like a 10 out of 10, like a 9 out of 10 Chad looking guy who's like handsome. And like gone through like a major change in his life. And he doesn't, isn't extremely like buff either. Even though he does go to the gym. The majority of gym goers aren't even buff. Like the gym, the majority of gym goers aren't even like physically strong. They're very, very mediocre. That's the majority, but they're the silent majority because they're like they're, they're so it's probably ashamed of their own progress or like they're like oh whatever I'm small anyway what's the point of showing it that type of individuals I think that's the majority of people the, the invisible invisible mass okay ladies and gentlemen and I I think it's gonna remain like that for a very very long time because. Like, oh my god, my brain just hurts thinking about it. Like, if you think about it, these individuals have been kind of lied to. 
It's not just go to the gym. It's not just fix your sleep. It's not just read books. You read books because you have a particular problem that you need to solve. Like, for example, you need to make a lot of money. You don't know how to particular outreach to a certain type of customer, a certain type of demographic. You need to refine your marketing thing. You read a book about it. You read an article about it. You read things that are relevant to your problem, and then you solve that problem. That's how rich people solve um thing. Uh, uh, that's how rich people. It's not solve reading. That's how rich people approach reading. That's how. Successful people that people you know the average person who wants to be successful that's how they don't approach reading they approach reading like it's a reading a novel they read it from like chapter one to chapter 100 you no know, you find what you need to find you 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 understand that that nuanced topic and then you directly apply the new topic i'm not saying don't read like a novel i'm saying books are primarily like a like a like a manual like like, like the book the millionaire fast lane i read it all the time i got a problem with my business if, if there's like a particular part like um, the weighted average decision, decision matrix, if you guys know, you know, or like the WADM or like, um, I don't know what the other one's called, but like, uh, there's another, there another one as well. Basically, there's like two types, like there's ways to like just make a decision in your mind. All right, guys. And uh, you can like pretty much do the math on like how difficult it is to make a decision. In the Millionaire Fast Lane, it tells you and shows you how to do this. I don't know, despite me reading it. A fuck ton of times. I struggle to recall it, but it has something called the weighted decision, uh, av- weighted average decision matrix, where you you know you measure all your decisions, you put you put them on a scale of one to ten, you put all your decisions in a graph, and then you measure like how, which decision is better, one to ten, using a multitude of factors that would influence the the scale of your decision. And that's the best way I can possibly describe it. And like I use that very very often within business, within life, within within all the things. I do because it's useful okay guys books are there to be useful they're there to be your mentors your pocket mentors if you if you understand where I'm, where I'm coming from that, that's the primary goal book I'm not saying like don't read it all in full like for the first time no of course like you have to fucking understand the entire book for the first few times but after a while it becomes like a it has to become a manual huh? like a handy book you can't be like Okay, I have a particular problem with a customer here. Okay, I hate my job again, and I've already read this book twice. Hmm, well, what's the problem? Let me just read the entire fucking book again. <laughs> like, that, no. You read the part where it talks about quitting your job and starting a business for the first time. And then after a while, you will get the nuance. You will have, like, the problems that require nuance. And then you will solve the problems that, have, that are nuanced with the book or with uh, other internet resources like fucking ChatGPT or something. Something like that, okay, guys? Same thing with the gym. Now that was going on. Same with sleep. I already think I've already explored sleep enough. I believe, but like the gym, like the I'm gonna just cover these three basic advices because I think these are the basic three advices apply the most. But like the gym, for the most part, people just go to the gym. They use the fucking gay ass weight. I'm, I'm calling it the gay ass weight machines, the little Peloton bicycle machine, and then they do it for like half an hour, four or five minutes, maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half, maybe they're a bit active, and then they go home. And then think to themselves, yeah, I really achieved something today. I went to the gym, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is false delusion. Okay, guys? You lift, you lift a little bit of weight. You know, you do a little bit, you, be a little, you do your little fucking, you know, your little, I'm, trying, I'm trying to do the fucking, the gym machine motions in real life right now. I look like such an autist. I'm literally retarded. Anyways. They do, they, they do the little machines with like the, the mediocre weight. They do the assisted dips. They do the assisted pull-ups. And they think they're making progress. Okay, guys? You might think, oh, you're bashing on the, uh, the, the gym goer, but everyone starts somewhere. No. Bro, I started obese. Okay, guys? I found calisthenics. Pull ups, push ups, sit ups, dips, that type of shit. I banged them out until I could reach at least. My max pull up count right now is like probably like 20. But usually I can do like 14 to 15. That's 20 if I'm like really over myself, I've got like fucking music blasted and then I've got like um I'm, I'm really pumped up and I've got like a pub. Then you catch me just walking down the street. I can do 14 pull-ups, okay guys? I can't I don't know, I can't I can't reach a 15 by 15 by so i every single time I can't reach it. Like, I guess it's just a big milestone. But like just fuck, I just bit my tongue. Is that sound of lying? Man, I'll do it right fucking now, bitch! Okay, my body is sore from working out yesterday. Fuck. Um, no, no excuse. I just can't do it right now. I'm, I'm a bitch. Anyways. <laughs> that's my max pull-ups. 
as soon as I hit the gym, I could already lift like way above average weights. If you understand what I'm saying. People would build up for a weight for a very long time, like six months to a year. They have like unrealistic long goals towards like, you know, what need what needs to be done. No. Don't do that, you naughty boy. Pause. It doesn't make everything zesty, bro. Okay guys. I didn't mean to make it zesty. But where I'm coming with this, you have to work extremely hard, push yourself to the absolute limit, and the only way to build a solid level of strength in the beginning when you go to the gym is with calisthenics, exclusively. Weights, unless you're doing like certain specific weights, I started doing forearm workouts because I have weak forearms, and because I've done forearm workouts along with the forearm, like you know them grip, them like them grip like squeezers. I call it, I don't know, I call it a grip squeezer. Let me try to find the name on Google. Okay, I found it. Uh, a grip strength trainer, adjustable hand grip trainer, metal hand grip strengthener, hand grip, 165 kilograms heavy grip, well, I actually need that, one of those, what the fuck, 12 pound 90, Jesus Christ, on Temu as well, that's expensive, anyways, back to my point, I started doing these, and weights as well, like forearm workouts with weights, and yeah, my pull ups had gone better as a result, but like, that's like, for a specific purpose, I'm not saying, Use weights on a daily basis, like normally, like never hit the pull-up bar. Like I'm not like I always negatively advocate for the um, the lateral raise, uh, motherfuckers. Not the lateral raise, um, the lateral pull down. The lateral pull down. I think it's, that's the name of the machine, right? Like I have bigger lats than the majority of people that do lateral pull downs because lateral pull downs is a fucking bullshit. It's just. A fucking fake pull up. It's a fake pull up. It's a fake fucking pull up. It's, it's, it's not good. I fucking hate the lap, bro. The lap pull down is just, it's such a fucking scam, bro. You don't do the lap pull down, like unless you're doing extremely high heavy weight, sure. But like for the most part, just do pull ups. Like master your own body weight. Honestly, like it's so fucking dumb because the pump feeling you get from it from like the. The, the dedicated muscles, like the muscle. Sorry, spaghetti break. The fuck, no, how do I say this? They're like the pump that you get from like the machine, like dedicating on a small muscle group, like isolating the muscle group. It's fucking, it's temporary, bro. It's all temporary, it's all bullshit. You always see them videos of the, like, of the gym that go like, Oh, me in the gym, I look big, I look good. And then you got me at home, and they just look like a fucking soppy mess. Like a like a deflated balloon. That needs to get popped. You know what I'm saying, guys? It's all a scam. Calisthenics is the only way to train in the beginning. Weights can incorporate later on. Weights, I just use weights as a tool to like get where I need to get. You know what I'm saying, guys? For my forearm strength, for my grip strength. No, no, I'm, I'm using like, yeah, this technique weights, they're on the hand grip squeezers, the technique weights, I'll try to find it right now, but there's really no point in me finding it because, because <laughs> like the thing, I can do 50 at a time, I usually do like 5 sets, 250, like, I, can, I guess it's technique weights because like it's the, the, the metal squeeze thing, I guess technically, but yeah, I, I don't know, I'm tweaking bro, calisthenics is the best way to train in the beginning, full stop period, to build a strong, good strong solid base, Master the push up, master the sit up, and this, like, this is the new one that no one fucking talks about. Everyone just says go to the gym, bro. Like go to the gym, go to the gym, go to the gym. Like what? This is not helpful advice, dude. This is fucking useless advice. You can go to the gym. I know guys that go to the gym. Uh, when I used to go to the gym with friends before, and I just go to the gym alone because like I need to get my fucking workout in. Like, I, don't, I don't have time to like f focus on like talking and you know socializing. I need to fucking get my workout in. You feel? You dig? Like, like having a gym partner, that's so fucking weird to me, because, like, it, how, you gonna, what? I need to focus on my fucking workout, gym partner. What the fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? And I used to know guys that, anyway, back to the, back to the going to the gym advice, I used to know guys that would go to the gym, I know a guy who was like six foot four, built like a twig, he's like 64 kg, like wet, Probably shows like 57 kg or something, at 6 foot 4. His literal skinny white boy twig. He'll go to the gym, just to say he's going to the gym. 
and he would charge his phone there. He would do like two squats. He would do one set of like um, them uh, calf calf raises, and then he'd leave. He'd leave, and I'd never see him again. I wouldn't see him in the cardio section. I wouldn't see him lifting heavy weight. I wouldn't see him doing pull ups. I wouldn't see him doing nothing. Okay, so so like. It's just it's just dumb in my opinion. It's so fucking stupid. And I think although I'll say it right now, right here, right now. Like what lift, lifting weights, like doing the compound exercises is like it's pretty good. Uh, you know, squat, bench press, you know, shoulder raise, shoulder thing, lateral raise, shoulder press, you know, forearm workouts, bicep work, like that. The basic of the basics. Those like the you know, the tried and tested. Those are good. But like the extra fancy machines, like them, like the the fly, you know, the 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 machine where you have like two bars at the side and then you push it towards the middle, like that is so fucking like that is so stupid, like that is so brain dead, honestly, for, like Jesus Christ. And people will go on that machine and think they're doing something, like no, get on the fucking ground, do some push-ups, like the bait. No, if you think so, the weights, the, the, the squats, the bench press, and like the deadlift are like the basic, uh, the com the basic combat exercises. No, they're not. They're fucking. They're the new generation shit. The old generation OG shit that fucking has been tried and tested is push ups, pull ups, dips, that type of shit. And bodyweight squats. You don't even need, you don't even need weight, uh, weighted squats. Master the bodyweight squat first. Uh, you're, people will be so surprised at the, the amount of size your legs can fuck. I'm stroking my legs right now. Pause. Uh, like, uh, you, you people are surprised at the amount of size your legs can get just by doing bodyweight squats and they're doing like fucking jump squats and burpees and shit. Like, it's so, like, oh my god. God, bro, like, the base that you will get is insane. People don't even understand. Like, if you're obese, you're fat, like I was, like, you will carve that fat, even though it's not true, you will carve that fat into muscle. Well, it isn't, obviously, that's not true. Your fat burns, uh, or your fat cells shrink. And what's that? Well, actually, your fat cells shrink, and then your muscle builds on top of that fat, or underneath that fat, and then that gives the impression of fat turning into muscle. So, actually, yeah, shut the fuck up. The fat turns into muscle, okay, guys? <laughs> like, that, that is the like that's the three big advice that I'm gonna have a big a big grab with. When it comes to productivity and work, yeah, you gotta fucking just do sit down and do your work. Like, what the fuck? Like, are you watching too much YouTube? Close the YouTube tab. Like, holy shit! Like, what is the work that you have you have right in front of you? Just fucking do it. Like, stop being a bitch. Like, honestly, like, holy fuck! Ugh, just, just. It's like... <laughs> I'm fucking with this dick. It just grinds my gears because. It just wastes so much time. Like, I know what it's like, ladies and gentlemen. I know what it's like to, like, hear this advice, think it's the right thing to do, and then try to execute, or try, see the my language, and then you execute, and then it isn't fucking what it, what it was supposed to be. And it doesn't give you the results immediately, and it doesn't, it doesn't push you towards the right direction in life. It's so fucking annoying. Like, holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, my God, Top G. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, yeah, pretty peace. Stay safe.